Hey guys, so today is my only day off work. I've been working like every day for the past two weeks and it's Wednesday and it's my one day off in the week. So excuse the messy, unwashed hair and no makeup face and lazy clothes, but I'm having a day off. Um, so yeah, I've just been into town and did some shopping, got all my fruits and veggies and groceries I need for the rest of the week and now I'm about to make um, an apple crumble or apple pie as Nina and Randa called it so Nina and Randa's recipe so yeah I'll show you how that goes alright so I'll just show you quickly what I've bought while I was shopping today mini food haul kind of thing so I'll start from here and work my up but this is just a typical shop for me a week's shop might last a bit longer, yeah. Some things will last longer, more perishable things. So I've got a cucumber for my sushi and other stuff. Some like baby spinach, some fire jokes, and sweet potatoes, which are really good. You get this messy bag from 95p in Tesco. And some bananas, of course. And then this watermelon was not quite ready, so I have to wait a few days before eating it. But it was about £1.70, so that's good for what to in Tesco's. And um, this pineapple, a pound. Got some apples for making my apple crumble today. Then got some white rice. Some oranges. And um, apple juice for the apple crumble. And um, some milk and a cinnamon. Some lovely golden syrup because it tastes amazing and porridge. And also because I need it in my crumble. And then I've got my non crushable ones. Kidney beans, chickpeas, and some little simple sandwiches of baked beans. So, yeah, that is my food shop, and I'm about to make my apple crumble. Okay, so this apple pie slash apple crumble um, was inspired by Nina and Randa on their vegan snack hacks um, video. They posted that recipe, and I'm copying it. Um, so, yeah, to make um, the apple crumble, you need to slice about four apples, you need a non-stick baking tray, you need raisins, um, plain oats, cinnamon or mixed spices or anything, um, some syrup, some cornstarch and some apple juice. So the first thing you need to do is slice up your apples and place them in your non-stick baking tray. And then you sprinkle some raisins on top of the apples. And then in a separate bowl pour in your oats, um, just as many to cover the apples obviously. And mix your cinnamon or mixed spices into your oats and make sure it's blended really well and that it smells really nice because that way it's done and then pour a generous amount of syrup on top of the oats and mix it in until it's nice and sticky and all comes together And then pour the crumble mixture on top of the apples and smooth it all down with a spoon so and make sure it covers all of the apples and it's nice and firm on top. And then in a separate bowl or a jug, pour in some apple juice and some cornstarch, mix it together, and then pour that over the top of the oats and the apples. And um, just a little bit, not to drown it, but enough so that everything is soaked good moisture to simmer the apples and lastly bake for 10 to 15 minutes and voila it's done <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching my mini recipe video cooking video I'm going to try and do more of these, I've got lots of ideas in mind from cookies to pizzas to showing you how I make my sushi, all kinds of things. So if you want to see more recipes then please subscribe to my channel 
like this video and yeah thanks for watching see you next time